Snowden Junior High School graduates usually went right down McLean, up to Bellevue, and over to Central. Our arch rival for many years. But Frank Uhlhorn's dad had the smarts, and he placed his son at CBHS in August of 1966, a year after we had opened the Walnut Grove campus. Frank would participate in Gold Brothers basketball his sophomore year and in football. His nominator for the Hall of Fame ranked him as a top tackling dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he would serve as a homeroom officer. Frank completed his undergraduate degree in 1973 at Memphis and worked to become one of the premier home builders in the Memphis area, winning the Silver Award and multiple Vesta Home Show Award. Outside of his professional work, Frank serves on the Home Builders Board, Landmark and Cadence Bank Boards. He coaches for Germantown Youth Athletic Association, Dixie Homes Boys Club, and the Germantown Rotary. He's been a Germantown alderman for 14 years, as well as Rotary Club member in Germantown. He and his wife, Grace, have raised four sons, all of whom followed their dad to this school. He's an active member of Hope Presbyterian Church. And right now, those boys are, as I told Walker today, are too young for membership in the Hall of Fame. But Walker, you just, uh, uh, Frank, you just made the cut this year. So <laughs> welcome to the CBHS Hall of Fame. cheat sheet out. This is the first time I've ever had one that I wouldn't get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks for the great introduction. And oh, I, I have been listening, and, and these guys are great speakers, and this is probably among the things I do worst. Let me take a deep breath here and see if I can get this out. I was completely surprised when I got my letter telling me that I'd been chosen to be in the Christian Brothers Hall of Fame. David Peterson and my wife had kept it completely secret from me. I had no idea that it was coming. Needless to say, I'm greatly honored and humbled by all of this and certain that academics is not the only criteria for selection. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. One other thing to let you know the reason that I'm here today, I would like to, during this time, thank Barbara Evangelisti, Joe's wife, for saving my life with a round of cancer three, three years ago. And Barbara, thank you so much for taking the time to pay attention where others didn't. I'm sure that my experience here at Christian Brothers is probably no different than the majority of other young men who came to attend school here. When I first arrived, I was terrified by the stories that my siblings had told me and my uncles and other relatives. There's a long list of relatives that have come to school here, starting with my father, my uncles, and my cousins who uh, were, are their children are here today. And they told me of all these horrible things to expect. Uh, the carnage that I could expect was greatly uh, uh, touted, and I was relieved to know that it was not to the extent that they had embellished it and, and warned me about. However, there were consequences for your actions here, and the brothers were happy to oblige. <laughs> you know, these stories are fun to tell, but the reality is that this place is great primarily due to the dedication of the brothers to teach young men in the Lasallian tradition. I've always been amazed that they would give up so much 
and dedicate their lives to educate young men in service to Christ. Whatever success I've, success I've had in life is directly attributable to what the brothers set me on the path to accomplish. I not only learned my academics lessons here, and I've left a few behind that I should have picked up. I, just importantly, learned vital life lessons. And among them are loyalty, self-discipline, stand up straight, be respectful, say yes sir and no sir, be responsible, be compassionate, be generous and charitable, as well as being grounded in faith. I've made so many friends uh, from Christian brothers here, and those friendships have lasted a lifetime. And we all have the common bond with one another of endurance and success. We're truly brothers boys. And Tony Lanigan sitting back here in the back. <laughs> and he and I took language arts class together. We didn't take a language because they figured we had to learn English first. <laughs> <laughs> and as the brothers in the dark suits sit over here, it's no different than it was when Brother Adrian was sitting there giving us the evil eye. And the only person I can really think of that's worse than me at giving these speeches is Tony Lanigan. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been great friends, and it's always great to see these guys around town. Uh, there's truly a bond that you will never understand unless you've gone to school here. I have a college degree but I'm even more proud of my Christian Brothers Diploma and what it took to get it. God bless the Christian Brothers and may their tradition last another 150 years. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>